am Jackie Jett, and this is The Queer Edge, the show that firmly believes that for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows, and then someone gets killed in a car crash, and then the grown flowers are placed on that grave, and thus goes the circle of life. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Last week, let me tell you, I want to tell you something about my family or my familia, if you will. They return from the Holy Land, which, contrary to what I thought, are not located in Maui. Uh uh. The Holy Lands are located over there, over there where the Holy is. And as a souvenir, my family, they brought back a cross. But not just any cross, they brought back the cross, the one that Jesus died on. And since there was no room in or outside their trailer, I decided to put it up at my house. And as I began this process, I found myself in a metaphysical quandary. How, how could those damn Romans do something so cruel to such a nice guy? Because no matter if you worship him or if you just dig him as a cool dude in sandals, he certainly didn't deserve the old <laughs> nail and thorn routine. So that night, I was reading parts of the Bible that I hadn't yet highlighted. And I came up with the following. In the book of Luke, chapter 7, verses 9 through 13, Jesus told his disciples to bring before him any man who did not believe in him and to violently slaughter that man while Jesus watched. Now that's unconditional love. And in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 17 through 19, and the Lord said, He will create a horse like locust with human heads. Women's hair, lions, teeth, scorpion tails that will sting and inflict savage pain on sinners for months and months. And that locust shall be given the name of Carl Rove. And in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verses 12 through 14, it stated that even, that he even killed a fig tree for the fig tree failing to produce figs, even though figs were not in season at the time. Now, I've got to give it to the J-man on this one. Yes, I do, because I know this, even my mortal self. When a man wants a fig, a man wants his fig. No ifs, ands, or buts. A fig. And we don't care if they're in season or not. So produce managers, please take notice. Beware of thou that is without the figgeth. Oh yeah. On tonight's show, all of our figs are in season, and they are Jackie Eats with the news from the edge, the sensational Barbarella, my special co-host, the dominatrix of all that is fun and funny, Judy Denuda is here. And with some puppetry for the pervy, Mr. Matthew Scott is going to be here, or really actually over there. And Michael Lucid from the comedy troupe Pretty Things is going to be here. And I gotta tell you this, gotta tell you this, gotta tell you this, that Hi. I've been loving this lady slash chick forever and ever. She's the queen of stopgap humor. Wendy Liebman is here. All that and free, free kidneys for everyone here and now as Queer Edgers. They are a go. <laughs> What are you doing right now? 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 It's your reality. Make it up. Vodka martini. Two olives. This is my reality. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the Queer Edge. It's Wednesday here, and we have been having an amazing week. You know, we've started the Tom DeLay Defense Fund here on the, on the Queer Edge, and uh, so far we have raised a uh, dollar, and so that's going to help with Tom DeLay, because God knows 
that he's a good man. And God knows he has a good heart. I think. Uh, but here's what's, uh, you know, we, this chick has been with us all week, and I love her. She is funny. Jackie Inks, do you think she's funny? Funny, 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 funny girl. My co-host this week is a huge name in comedy and a huge talent to boot. Please welcome back Judy Tanuta. <laughs> Yes, you are. You're kind of like the Callista Flockhart of comedy <laughs> now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, that, yeah. What happened to your strap on? It's, uh... It, it's, it's, uh... Yeah, well, I, I did it this way so I could have, have it flexible so I could dance with the Barbarellas. I know. Oh, Everybody wants to dance with the Barbarellas. Party! Party! Party with the Barbarellas! Party! 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 party. They're not bouncing. I know. Okay, well, what? What? All right. What's mine do? Look at That's you. That's so sad, isn't I it? I love it that you're. Look at that he's sanitized for my protection. Yes, I know. <laughs> I usually don't wear these, but when I heard that you were coming on, I said, uh, "Well, let me just yes, say this." That's right. You have to stay. When clean. I heard that you were coming on, I just wanted to oh! uh, make sure that. Uh, do I get to have some of these? Well, Judy, those are my for protection of me from you. Oh. Excuse uh, me, you should beg for such happiness. I should beg for such Excuse happiness. Excuse me, Trollette. No. Uh, now listen here, Judy Tenuta. You're sweating already, honey. I know. It's because I just did five grams of blow. My God, look at that. <laughs> five grams of blow and oh. look what it does. I know. Yeah, we have to cut down, honey. Yeah, what to what? But to? I do love the pink. Do you? Yes. You know, I'm wearing pink because... Two weeks ago, it was coming out day, which means nothing to me because I don't know the difference between in and out. But uh, so today, I'm celebrating it by wearing pink. Oh, okay. I get it. So he's celebrating a few days after. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You're good with timing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I think. And the highlights are nice, too. Very, uh, hmm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Judy, I need to tell you something before I introduce the news. Uh, yeah. I have a, you've been with us for three days now, and I want to, speaking of coming out, I want you to know I'm a homosexual. Oh, my God, I'm shocked. Yeah, I know, because all know, this time... Well, you've then, excuse me, would you do something with my hair? No, uh, I, I'm, not that, I'm not that good of a homosexual. See, I'm not really, I'm not that trained yet. Well, then, we're going to have to fix him up, Barbara. Yeah. We're going to have to do something. Though, I, uh, I want to be a good homosexual, and I'm sorry I haven't told you this before uh, about... Are you okay? Because I hear you're, like, m Miss Homophobic. Is that right? Well, pick up the courtesy phone. No. <laughs> no, I'm like every, uh, every gay man wants to kiss my feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make me gay? Uh, yeah, now for sure, yeah. Now for sure. Oh, uh, okay. Now here's what we got to do. Let's hear, Miss Judy, some news from the edge with the lady, Jackie Hicks. <laughs> Pump day. This is good stuff. By now, you've seen the video of 64-year-old retired elementary school teacher Robert Davis, who last week was pummeled by three New Orleans police officers. Old news, right? Well, the police are still claiming he was drunk and disorderly, but Mr. Davis still claims he hasn't had a drink in over 25 years and only started putting up resistance, as any of us would, after being attacked. Davis is a black man, and although the three cops were white, the police are insisting still that race had nothing to do with the incident. As justice runs its course, we here on the edge are happy of one thing. If these three thug cops are convicted and then sent to prison, at least they will understand that race had nothing to do with it, with it when they are forced to shower with Mr. Bobo. <laughs> Our international news desk has found that there may be a whole new Cold War brewing in the former Soviet Union, but this time the U.S. is not involved. Russian President Vladimir Putin has gone public with his idea that it is finally the right time to bury Lenin. No, not John Lenin, Vladimir Lenin. That Lenin was the first premier of the Soviet Union, and he died way back in 1924, 
but you may not know this, but his body has been preserved in a custom-built refrigerator in Red Square, which is true. Many Communist Party members are threatening massive civil disobedience if Lenin is taken out of his cooler, and Mikhail Gorbachev is urging Putin, don't be so darn hasty. He issued a statement saying, the moment has not yet come for our nation to bury our first head of the Soviet state. All have agreed, however, that the biannual removal of old lunch meats, condiments, and Chinese food should definitely continue. <laughs> Finally tonight, New Orleans is trying to rebuild after Hurricane Katrina, but it turns out that many former residents are not returning to their ravaged city. There is such a shortage of qualified workers that Burger King is offering, check this out, a $6,000 signing bonus to any competent management personnel, and even the day laborers are now getting up to $15 an hour. Not too bad. Why, pray tell, is any of this a problem, you may ask? Well, it appears the city is quickly filling up with workers from Mexico and Central America, and some local officials are griping that they'll change the basic culture of the city. Mayor Ray Nagin was roundly criticized after he literally asked local businesses, how do I ensure that New Orleans is not overrun by immigrants? Ray, the edge here, that is so darn simple. Just tell your racist police force to leave the retired school teachers alone and target the Mexicans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must I do everything? Let's go back to the driver of the queerest bus in the whole darn world, Mr. Jackie Jack. And guys, thank you Jackie for once again proving that you can lead a mind to information but you can't make it think. I just made that up, Judy Tenuter. That was brilliant. I like Judy Tenuter. That's what my brother calls you, Judy Tenuter. I tell uh, people like to say my name all at once because it's kind of musical. Judy Tenuter. That's right, Judy Tenuter. Now you know that we here on the Queer Edge are new to the Hollywood scene, where we are. We are the Beverly Queer Billies, honey. I love that. And and you have been around in the show business world forever yes, I, and ever and ever wait and a ever minute, and not ever. Long. And so. Excuse me, I'm a delicate flower. I'm sorry for only a couple of years, but That's in that right. couple of years, you have met tons of celebrities. Oh, yeah, like, I have. Because they all want to kiss your ass, don't well, they? Well, uh, I don't know. Pope Eggs Benedict is really cute. Do you like uh, him? Is he the new one? The new Pope Eggs Benedict? <laughs> yes. I uh, can't tell if he's a Nazi, but, you know, every time he, you know, starts to pray, it's Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to think. But, uh, you know, he's one celebrity that I met, and I do like white gowns, so that's I do, too. It's like, I know. It looks very chic okay, in that, I think. Very, very mm -hmm. he's like, oh, and then, of course, my favorite, I was at a second hand, I'm not, this is really, this really happened happened okay and even if it didn't you know okay, so no, wait. no this really happened I I was at one of those um you know uh, antique stores and who's in there but oh. Oh. Papa, oh. can you hear me can you hear me hey let me do it bitch <laughs> See, I'm sorry. You, no, you start singing Barbara Streisand, and I can oh, I lose control. That's right, he's gay. I forgot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Well, now I mean. You were in a shop, and there was. Yeah, Papa, can you hear me? Yeah, but you don't do it right. Okay, okay wait. <laughs> okay, wait. Take yeah, two. yeah. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? Papa, can you help me not be frightened? <laughs> Papa! You do it much better than I do, I've got to say. Yeah, I do. Uh, you do a lot of things much better than I do. Look at this. No. Uh, listen, we're going to go to a commercial break, uh, and we'll be right back after yeah. this. Me and Judy Tenuter.
firing on all cylinders, one of the finest minds in comedy today, besides me, a very funny woman, and of course we love her, uh -huh. Wendy Liebman! Yes, yes, yes! Judy money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I found money today. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I found twenty dollars. Isn't yeah. that fun? It was just sitting there in the tip jar at Starbucks. <laughs> 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 I would never do that again. <laughs> I, um, I needed it though because I was getting a latte, and the guy goes, "That'll be four sixty. And I'm like, four six. Keep the coffee, because that just woke me up. <laughs> that is so expensive. Aren't movies expensive? Oh, yeah. You forget to return yeah. them. I, I had... Um, <laughs> you know what is the most expensive? Health care. My HMO, they charge me for a self-breast exam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat fee. I um could you at least fake it? <laughs> I actually you know what somebody asked me um in the lobby where I've been and I took last year off uh to have a baby. And um thank you. Um, that didn't happen. Um I yeah, I, I wanna be a mother. I've been called one. <laughs> I, um, but I did get married. I got married this year. And yes, it was, thank you. I, I met my husband online uh, at the supermarket and he was totally checking me out. And uh, <laughs> then he bagged me. I, no, it was love at first sight, and I never believed in love at first sight because I fell in love uh, with the doctor that delivered me, and um, <laughs> then he spanked me, and I am not into that. But um, my friend Shelly likes that. She likes getting spanked in the bedroom. Personally, I prefer a time out. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> nothing? <laughs> You know what? I didn't have. I can have children uh, according to my lease. But my husband, <laughs> my husband has uh, two little boys and one little girlfriend on the side. And he has uh, <laughs> no. He has two little boys from a previous poker game, and they are they are the loves of my life. They are uh, ten and fourteen, I think. <laughs> and they. <laughs> I think. They just started saying to me things like, um, I don't have to listen to you. Um, you're not my mother. You know, like my husband says to me. But um, <laughs> my husband, he is so sensitive. I love a sensitive man. I love it when the man cries uh, when I hit him. <laughs> but um, no, but he was very romantic when he proposed to me. Oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> He turned off the TV. <laughs> well, he muted it. And that, but the point is, it was my first engagement ring, and my last boyfriend had given me a piece of coal, and he told me he would marry me when it turned into a diamond from all the pressure. Um, we were incompatible, though, my last boyfriend and I. For an example, I'm a night person, and he didn't like me. And <laughs> no, it, you know what? We still talk. Uh, we reminisce about the good old day. But you know what? He, he reminded me too much of my father. Ever date somebody like your father? Like he looked like my father. Uh, he had a wife. Um, no, he didn't have a wife, but he cheated on me with his secretary. And I knew because I found lipstick all over his shirt, uh, covered with whiteout. And I... <laughs> they told me to stretch, I'll keep going. <laughs> no, whatever. I was a secretary. Uh, yeah, I was a secretary for six years. And you know what? This was before there were computers. Can you imagine your job without solitaire? <laughs> I... <laughs> Thank you very much.
Ой, And it's, you know what? It's gay. It's Canadian Lesbian Day. By the way, did you know that? It's Canadian Lesbian Day. Wednesdays are always Canadian it is Lesbian Day. day. Yes. Um, so let me ask you this, Wendy. If you care to contribute to the Tom DeLay Defense Fund, let me know. Uh, um, before you go. Can I take that dollar? You know what? <laughs> Actually, I think you can. I think it's, I think it's, in, the, it's yeah. in the spirit of what Tom DeLay would want, which is ripping off money from other people and giving it to the... Ripping off money from the poor and giving it to the wealthy? Yeah. Isn't that what he believes in? <laughs> oh, that's why you're giving it to You know what? <laughs> I want a scissor. Does anybody have a scissor? Because I want you to give me the finger. Oh! oh. Like this one? Yeah, or this like one? to cut it off. You, or you just want to feel it? Scissor. Wendy Lehman here, will you hold my glove for just I a second? I was going to wear that yeah. today. I didn't know what to wear. Here's my obviously. thing with you. Is why why did you bring this? Is this a gift for me to use? <laughs> does she does she need it or I need it or uh, oh oh okay uh, there this you go <laughs> there oh I'm gonna get my finger get it get this one uh, this one right. okay and then I could say Jackie Jack gave me the finger there you go oh yeah that's the way I like it did I cut uh, off your finger <laughs> oh. now Woo! wow Magic. Look at Gruba. You know what? It's I'm magic, just like David Copperfield trying to convince us all he's heterosexual. Oh. Oh. Just but you know what's cute? She keeps giving me things. She does. She's a giver. Yeah. She's a giver. She's a giver. She's Not a, a taker. She's a oh, cutter. She's also a cutter. And a, you know, yeah. about those no, people. No. Okay, is. Wendy Lehman. I have so many things to ask you oh, about. Honey. I really have dug your stuff for a long time. I think that you really, really are a funny chick. I've been doing comedy as long as Judy. Yeah. Yeah, we've been. And, and well, look at. I have to talk about the jewelry. Yeah. This must. Be, is this from this. the new husband? No, this is from, actually it's from his sister. It's from my sister-in-law, but I wear it every day. Oh, that is so sweet. Now you, here's the thing. You're traveling all over the, here's the world, okay? <laughs> and you're traveling all <laughs> over it, all the time. How do you find time to have sex with your husband? <laughs> so the answer is she does it. Yeah. Yeah, that's she the answer. She just thought it. She just thought of it. No, <laughs> I think she did. I said, uh, sex. You know what? You know what? My husband has been begging me to bring another woman home. Really? Uh, not for sex, for cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then don't hit up my Barbarellas because they, they are not good in the cooking They're business. So, look at them. They have like hourglass. I have an hour and a half. I I have have <laughs> that's like me having reverse liposuction <laughs> because I just thought the body needed some shape, but I wasn't sure what kind. Are I didn't know what to wear. I got an obscene phone call. The guy was like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> many How many off. days out of the month, let's say, are you on the road? I'm on the road maybe half the month. Okay. And do you wa what do you do when you come home to your hotel room? Laundry. Oh, when I come home to my hotel <laughs> uh, room. Uh, <laughs> That's what you meant when I come home. Because when I come home, because now that I have stepkids, the house looks like Pompeii. Uh -huh. Right. So I have to like come in and immediately do triage and laundry. And Wendy, I have a question. Yes. Since, since your comedy is based on sort of real life stuff, do you ever turn off? I mean, are, are, I, mean I, I always notice that with, with certain people, they're like, as they go through their life, especially in someone who's using real life as their joke. I mean, do you ever, do you have a way of shutting down? Um, about 10 minutes ago when I was doing my stand-up, I shut down. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You did it Jackie. so well. Yeah. You shut down so well. Do you watch a lot of TV? Um, you know what? I, I did take some time off, and I watched the uh, show uh, Dancing with the Stars. Is that uh, uh, like, uh, I guess I know which, okay. Yeah, and I, because I want to be on Dancing with the Stars. Like on my website, you can see that I have like this petition to, so I can get on Dancing with the Stars because I think I'd be good on that show because I know the Macarena. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good one. The Hokey Pokey. Uh, not many people know and that. I've done a few lap dances. And lap dances. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that the show that there was all this controversy about? Yes, because, yes. because the uh, soap star won, uh -huh. and then the uh, TV guy thought that he should win, but 
you know, he didn't have a bare belly And showing. in the rematch, Let's he won. Let's face it. He did win. He had a rematch, rematch and then let the audience won. vote, and he did win. Okay, win. When, is it WendyLeeman.com? Is that your website? It is. Okay, and can people find out where all you're going to be? Yeah. My you let your hair grow out. She has lovely hair. Yeah, yeah. Thank it's. You. A, I think it's got a. I think it's, it's got a hippie vibe going. I am very hippie. You are very hippie. <laughs> um, I've been called a hippie. Do you watch other than this? I want to dance with a m <laughs> famous person or whatever. Do you watch any other reality TV? Um, any other reality TV? I I have not yet watched America's Top Model. Uh -huh. But you know, I uh -huh. used to be a model uh -huh. citizen. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> but that was a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. Okay. Listen, Wendy Lehman, thank you so much. Will you come back and see us sometime? I would love to. Yeah. Thanks for the finger. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, tell your husband about it. Okay. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, tell him, tell him that the jet man can swing both ways, if you know what I mean. I love that you uh. just sit on your desk. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break right now, and we're going to sell scared. some products, probably some <laughs> really skanky ones. When he's scared of you, I'm holding her. Okay, don't be scared, honey. I've given you a finger. And we'll be right back with literally six pounds of queer stuff right after this break. Stay that you just saw advertised because Judy Tenuta needs the money really, really bad, yeah, don't you? Yeah, for my outfits. For the outfits and for these kind of boots and stuff. Uh, we have, uh, our next entertainer goes by the last name of Lucid. Oh, I'm not familiar with that very much, <laughs> no, I but I'd that. like to be sometime. His name is Michael Lucid. And let me just tell you this, because this is what it says for me to say. <laughs> pretty things surround us all the time, but this pretty thing, hold my hand, Judy. This pretty thing is here to share. <laughs> Welcome to the Queer Edge, ladies and gentlemen. Say the name for me, Judy, please. Michael Lucy! Yes. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Hey, everybody, what's up? I'm James. I'm a transgender, female to male, gay performance artist. Yes. Yes, yes, and I'm going to be performing a piece I've been workshopping, a uh, working title, Catch That Herm. Uh -huh. Or, gotta love her. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, um, what does that really mean, to be a female-to-male gay man? Where does, that, where does that put me? Where does that put me in this world? Am I white or black? Am I gay or bi? Am I a man or a woman or both? I'm going to co-op hip-hop culture to tell my marginalized tale, because I'm a marginalized party too, as an FTM gay male, formerly a woman. <laughs> Uh, now for the uh, coming out narrative portion of my show. Um, 
12 years old in Kantucket, Missouri. I liked guys, but I wanted to be a guy. I thought, there's something different about me. Something's wrong somehow. <gasps> hey, God, it's me, Rebecca. Why'd you have to give me zits and a vagina? <laughs> yes, thanks. You know, I want, I want my show to be really body positive, you know, remapping the queer body and queer space and whatnot. Yep. Uh, yeah, and because, you know, I like my body. I like the way it moves. I like to move my arms like this, like this, uh, my legs. Uh, I like to snap my fingers. Uh, uh, I like to swivel. <laughs> and, you know, as a queer man, I, I reclaim my ass. I celebrate my ass. I hold it loud and strong. My ass could launch a thousand ships. My ass is whimsical, polite. Funny, bright. My ass is a hole in the ground with two humps on either side. <laughs> Tush, tookus, butt, buttocks, ass, arse. <laughs> My ass like the face of a shy, demure woman, tittering and smiling politely as the handsomest gentleman at the southern ball walks by. <laughs> My ass is pink and white, a little yellow with hairs all over. <laughs> My ass could do no harm, but my ass will do a number on your ass when we hump, when we bump butts. That's what humping means. Um, Yes. Um, also, you know, part of my project is to expose linguistic oppression. So I looked up the word penis in the dictionary, and it said, penis, noun, the male member of sexual genitalia. And that definition, it, it aroused me. It made me horny. But it also made me say, what makes a book think it can tell me how to be a guy? What, you got to have a penis to be a man? Maybe I am a penis. I am a walking phallus. I am a penis. I'm a dick. <laughs> um, that's right. That's right. And um, you know, I think uh, you know, while we're on the subject of body identification, I think I'll just unspool a little rhyme that I concocted earlier uh, while sipping on my vanilla macchiato. Um, here it goes. You want to see me? You want to feel me? Touch my ness, feel my ness, sense my my ness, sweat ness, fill my heart with lovingness, sex ness. So uninhibited am I right now. My essential feel me good sex ness, thigh ness, sweat ness. I'm gonna come right now. So uninhibited am I right now. So uninhibited am I right now. I'm gonna come right now. You're in me. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to close my show um, by really opening this up to the audience. Um, oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. It really brings up a lot in my, in my body. Um, you know, I really want to turn this space into a Dionysian choral throng. You know, really uh, dissolving self and other uh, binaries, right? So um, I'm just going to ask you guys, uh, what do you think of the show? Is it good? Am I a good performer? Am I talented? Breaking the fourth wall. Crush! Uh, let's get another look at Michael Lucid uh, with a video clip, please. How's it going? I'm Michael, and I'm proud to be a homosexual. But I gotta admit, there are those times when I become straight for a minute. When a tough dude makes me feel physically threatened. Are you a fag? I'm gonna beat you up. Uh, hey man, back off. Uh, I'm into chicks. I become straight for a minute When an old person or child asks me with sweet naivete Are you gonna get married to a lady? Uh, sure I am I become straight for a minute When a shy, clueless girl takes a fancy to me Um, you look nice today <laughs> Uh, you too I become straight for a minute I'm proud to be queer in this day and age, but on occasion I must confess I put on my facade and I become straight for a minute. Yeah. Michael! How are you, sir? Very good. Very good. You know this chick, Judy Tanuda? I do. I do. Yes. I'm a love yes. goddess. She's no chick. That's right, I'm a love goddess. Nice but I'm you. fascinated by his breasts. We yes. keep Thank looking you. at the breasts. Yes, we? yes. They're man, man breasts. breasts. Yeah. Man breasts. Yes. He, and I bet you also it. have a mangina down there, too. I, I do. I have many, many, as a gender blurring person, many, many different anatomical accoutrements. You right, right. You know what? You know what I noticed? We're looking at the video, and I must say, you, you do make a lovely girl. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you thank do. You very girl much. Is, uh, uh, yeah, it's oh, well, oh, actually, well, that was a, that actually a, girl? a bi biological girl. That's but a girl. I oh, do. I but, uh, you know, 
identity is blurring, but thank you. Thank you. No, I just wanted to know, Michael, that you're, you're, uh, the fact that you're homosexual is fine with me. Thank you. Uh, Judy has some problems okay. with it. No, uh, I don't. In fact, I like a cross between a macho and a sensitive man like a gay trucker. <laughs> That's so what you're looking he's, for. And I think you, mi you might have found her right here. Yeah, I can... yeah, I don't know why you say I have a problem, darling. You're the one in this stupid suit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, it's just that every time I read something about you, it's like Judy Tenuta is homophobic. And I'm thinking... Where did you... Oh, you are so full of crap. <laughs> gay events. I do a lot of charity. Oh, I think maybe what I'm reading is Judy Tenuta is a homosexual wannabe. Could that be it? Anything could happen. Anything. But, you know, I, no. I love Judy Tenuta is not, she is the biggest fag. If you look up fag hag, there no, is her photo. I don't weigh 300 pounds and have, wear all black. No. <laughs> Pick up the, what is with this one? Okay, well, listen, tell me about this. What is Wig Out? A Wig Out is an event happening here in Los Angeles this Friday, October 21st, and it's a wig themed performance night. And since I, I do this sketch comedy show okay, called Pretty Things. Really really <laughs> 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 I'm not even sure where you have a girl it. partner. Uh, and yes. sometimes you play a man, sometimes you play a girl, sometimes she plays. How do you guys pick who's going to play what and what role? We, um,. Sort of divvy them up. We sort of fight over roles sometimes, depending on what calls out to us in a mm. in a character, what the possibilities are. So sometimes there's a little. We we need to see her fight. picture. Yeah, well, I she's think a we pretty saw, girl. Where is that chick? She is actually in a band called the Diddy Bops, and they are on tour right now with Nickel Creek, which is a big folk. Don't band. know any of that. Do any um, of those names ring a bell to no. you? No. Yeah. Well, no. So here's the thing. Yes. She opted to do that. Instead of yeah. come and sit here between Jackie Jet and Judy to neuter. It's not right. It's, it's not right. Yeah, something is wrong. Something's you amiss. need to reevaluate yeah. that whole thing. And your group is called The Pretty Things. And you've yes. got a DVD out. And this is it. I'm the lovely Carol Merrill. And here's your... Ah! Isn't that... Remember Carol Merrill? No, no, I don't. I don't. What but city I, is the screen like on? You're on cable. What in what cities? Um, let's see. We're in New York, um, Los Angeles, Berkeley, Santa Cruz. Few other places sprinkled in between. Sprinkled around. Sprinkled around. What's your most? What, what city do they like you the best in? Um, New York, we go over really well. Are, are we you, have a good there's a, a New York over there. Are you a New York troop? Well, we are LA based. We are LA based, but um, I went to school in New York. That's where, where we started doing the show. So I think that's where we. You know, know what? I have Michael. I have something I want you to watch here because you know we talk about the power of the penis on this show and uh, how powerful and what a responsibility it is to have a penis and a scrotum. And, yes, uh, yes. We have a, and if you're not happy with... Wait a minute! Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you honey. Mm, loves to you. Thank you for bringing Daddy his penis. Uh, uh, are we, are we going to learn? Uh, are we going to learn about it? Yay! Yay. Okay, watch this. Uh, it's a message about how to make your penis larger. Oh! Okay? I Judy, get maybe messages all day. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. you should watch it, too. Yeah. Uh, right here, right now. Boy, how do I always get the top locker? You know that junior team you're on looked pretty good today. You guys better watch out. You might make the finals. Yeah, but we'd be a lot better if I were bigger. Yeah, I'm sure getting tired waiting to grow up. It's no fun being such a scrawny kid. It may sound funny to you, but boy, when I change my pants, I'd like to crawl in that locker I feel so undeveloped. That's not so funny. Before we moved here, I used to go to a school where we had to go swimming in the bear. I was so embarrassed about the size of my penis that we used to dread the days we had to go swimming. Even though it was my best sport, and I was good at it too, like you. Boy, what I wouldn't have given for a fig leaf, even from a small tree. Well, how do you think I feel? He feels plenty miserable, and so do more boys of this age than you would suspect. Welcome. Uh, listen, did you learn something from that little video clip, Mr. Lucid? Very, very informative. Right. Very. Yeah. Because you someday can be this. That is something to aspire to. Yeah, definitely. it is something oh, I as definitely. aspire to on a regular basis. Uh, and stay tuned by all the products you're about to see. And remember to, when you purchase them, Judy Tenuta sent you to purchase them. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>
David Courage, it is Canadian Lesbian Wednesday, and you're with us. You know, yeah. if you think puppets are just for kids, then you are way, way, way behind the times. Our next guest is putting the queer edge on all things puppet. Please welcome Matthew Scott. Matthew Scott! <laughs> Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Can oh. you uh, can you set her between? Yeah. Oh, you. I want to pet him. Yes. What is he his name? This is Jing Jing. J Jing Jing. Jing Jing. Yes. Jing Jing. Jing Jing is a sexual grenade. He is. He is a chick <laughs> magnet. Yeah, he and is. And now that he's in the entertainment business, I'm sure he's getting laid left and right. Am uh. I correct? He's getting more action than I am. Yeah. Well, is that saying much or not? No, not really. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> Michael. What? Matthew. Matthew. You're... <laughs> uh, Michael, like I said, that is your new name. We do that on the show here. We, we rename people. Uh, but Matthew, seriously, how, what drugs or glue did you sniff in your youth? Oh, I'm a total glue freak. You are. I'm a total glue freak. I have to be. Oh, high five on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I use so many different kinds of glue. Uh, and, what are the better glues? We were talking about that yeah. earlier. Um, there's a platinum bond is a really oh, good one. Oh, that's one what I like. Yeah. But I, I was just thinking, you know, I don't have any children, and this would be nice to have because they don't talk back. And no. You can just manipulate them. How, how did you come up with this? Is a pinhead from Todd Brown? Sort of, yeah, yeah huh. sort of based on Schlitzy the pinhead. Yes, uh, and also <laughs> Zippy the pinhead comics, which I was really into when I was a kid. Although I didn't understand them, uh -huh. I still don't understand them. Right. They don't make any sense. But um, I, I decided to put a puppet freak show together. So he's just one character in a freak show. Right. There's a thalidomide fat lady. Oh, I'd love ah. to see that. Oh, well, I didn't bring her. Okay. Uh. How many characters do you have? Uh, right now, I have about 75. Mm -hmm. Not just for the freak show, though. Do I've been putting them. Yeah, yes. Who makes these freaks? I did. You make this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and this is like. Pa is that like. This paper? is a. The heads are paper mache, yeah, the that, bodies are wood. Oh. Now, do you ever have the fear? Isn't it. Wasn't it a Twilight Zone episode where the puppet comes alive and kills the. Uh, People ask me that all the time, yeah. but no. No. Do you never I, fear you know, that? No, I'm really not afraid that the puppets the, will come to life. You're not. Yeah, cause no. Because they're, they're not real. 
Right. Oh, not. Right. Yeah. Well, oh, they're not. Yeah. Oh, that's why when he said paper mache. See? Not human. Paper mache. Exactly. I'm getting it now. Yeah. Uh, and where do you take these these lovely little creatures? To uh, I perform once a month at a club in North Hollywood called the California Institute of Abnormal Arts. Nice. I have a residency nice there. Name. <laughs> I like that. Why have I not been invited there, I wonder? Well, yeah. why don't you come on down next Saturday? I'm doing the freak show. Okay. Uh, for Halloween. It was built oh. for Halloween last year. Can I get year. in free and get free candy and popcorn at the snack stand? Sure. Okay. Cool. How about Judy? Because she course. likes well, of course. I'll be working in Florida, darling. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, because the, the thalidomide fat lady plays the accordion with her feet. Oh. oh my God! I used to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but back that was back in the old thalidomide days. That yeah, you did that, that was when I was first starting. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, now, what other? Who else do you have here? Uh, that um. Do you like Carol Channing? I love. I figured uh, since I was coming on a gay show, <laughs> I had to bring a gay <laughs> puppet. Uh, yes. So this is this is kind of my homage to Madam. Uh huh. Um, <gasps> it's Madam S. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, and also uh, Benita Bazaar from the Bugaloos because I was I really love the Bugaloos. By Sid and Marty Croft, they really yes. warped me. You know what? Not only are you a glue sniffer, but you're a communist too. I can tell yes. by looking at you. Actually, I'm a registered socialist. Are you? But that's better, isn't it? Yeah. A little okay, more liberal. Okay, then give me this. Okay, will you, you go over here and, and show us? Is this Carol Channing today? Like now that she's 107 years old. Ah. Oh, is it could Carol be. Channing 107 or 108? All I know is she. Yeah. She's older. She's older. She brings her own food to a restaurant. Does that she make does. Sense? Yeah, she brings her own food and eats it at a restaurant. She okay? poor? No, she just doesn't want their food, but she likes to be seen in the restaurant. Hello. Hello, Carol. Okay, take it. Uh, introduce us, please. This one hasn't been named yet. I just, oh. I, I just built her recently. If you'd like Hold to on. give it a name, Chi Chi. Chi Chi, it is. Chi Chi, it is. The things are falling. Judy yeah. Tenuta just named. Her Chi Chi. I like her. And Works. so saith the Lord, and so saith the <laughs> Judy. And let the show begin, please. Yay! Yeah. My daddy was a ragtime trombone player. My mommy was a ragtime cabaret. -er. They met one day at a tango tea. There was a syncopated wedding. And then came me Folks think the way I walk is a fad But it's a birthday present from my mommy and dad Cause I'm a jazz baby Little jazz baby, that's me There's something in the tone of a saxophone That makes me do a little wiggle on my own Cause I'm a jazz Baby, full of jazz bow harmony. That walk the dog and bow the jack that caused all the talk is just a copy of the way I naturally walk. Cause I'm a jazz baby, little jazz baby, that's me. Rock to sleep as the cradle went to and fro, to and fro, to the tune of the tick. Ever since I started in to grow Love to hear the music play And see my dear old mammy swaying Razzmatazz, that's all I ever knew All day long I never would get through Jazzmatazz, that's all I wanted to so play me a little jazz Jazz baby, full of jazz bow harmony. The wailing of the saxes when those fellas go mad cannot compare with what I got from mommy and dad. Cause I'm a jazz baby, little jazz baby, that's me. We'll see you in just a second. We'll be right back with more Queer Edge right after this.
Those are sanitary pads for me, honey. You know that mothers have a special place inside them where the babies grow before they come out? Well, each month in a grown-up woman, a sort of soft, nesty place builds up. In some of the nest is blood. And if a woman is going to have a baby, she needs this nest for the baby to grow in. Now let me tell you what the pads are for. If no baby has started there, then the blood in the nest isn't needed. And it just dribbles out of the vagina for a few days. Welcome back to the Queer Edge. It's the most important part of the show because uh, the Queer Edge is, is not just a variety show of counterculture and perverts. It is a learning experience. It is a show about education. It is no child left behind. It is no drug left behind. And so we want to start uh, and find out what everyone has learned on the show today because I know you've all learned more than one or two things, but we just have time for just the one main thing that you've learned. And let's start with you. What, what have you learned today here on The Queer Edge? I learned about the shame of a small penis and how to turn that around. And we can turn that around. And so don't fret those, with, those without small penis. There is something that can be done. And uh, let's go down to you, Wendy Liebman, because you're smart. I, I learned that Jesus and puppets wear sandals. And you did not know that before. And you know who else? Michael Bolton. Really? Oh, no! Yes, the three of them have all that in common. Sir, what have you learned today? Uh, I learned that baby's arm-sized dildos make fetching table ornaments. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That was very valuable. And something that you can take away and maybe use in your home. I think so. Okay. Accessorize. And Lady Judy Tenute, what have you learned? I've learned that I love puppets and fashion, so really, I'm a gay man. There you are. Yeah. There you go. And may I say, hot gay man. <laughs> Hot gay man with a nice piece of ass that I'd like to bend over and take you to Funky Town, my baby. Jackie Inks, have you learned anything today? Actually, it's Canadian Lesbian Wednesday. Yes. So I just want to say, until we see you again, thanks for the memories. Yes. These memories. Very good. Very good. And what about you, my Barbarellis? You learn. You're so full of knowledge and vitality. What have you learned? I learned that puppets need support bras, too. Even, especially <laughs> Carol Channing. Yes. And what about you? I learned that I'm not the only one in the locker room with a small penis. <laughs> oh, well, there you see, there you go. It's, uh, the whole issue of penis on this show, uh, I have been asked so many times to stop talking about the penis. 
But I'm telling you, I am obsessed with the penis. You're and the obsessed? And, and the responsibility that having a penis carries. It's huge. It's huge. It's a massive huge. responsibility. Yes, you women can give birth, but you cannot open a jar, you know, without a man being nearby. Well. A man has to do so much in life, and I don't know. Uh, it's just... <laughs> Uh, you understand, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're dudes, man. You understand, right, don't you? Of course. That's Give me right. a high That's five, right. dude. That's right. Yeah, man. Solidarity. Yeah, I mean, huh? we dig the chicks. <laughs> we dig the chicks, but uh, but this is what it's all about. No, I mean, you like. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, come back and see us for Queer Edge tomorrow <laughs> night. We have some amazing guests. And uh, this chick, Judy Tanude, is going to be back with us. Yep. Thank you. And Jackie Inks is going to be here. And my Barbarellas are going to be here. Yay. And I'll be here. That's right. Yeah. At least in spirit. Yeah, in some way. In some <laughs> minor capacity, I will be here. Good night, everybody. We love you. Peace out.